everyone, I'm out here in Barbados, um, fin visiting mum and dad, so don't have a go at me, so I'm, you know, doing the daughterly thing and visiting my parents and quite happily they're out in Barbados, so it's rather a nice experience, but I can foresee what you're all going to say, you shirko, you're sh slacking, so I thought I'd do some training while I'm out here. Uh, so when I got here, I had a look online and um, mum had heard of a organisation called Hike Barbados so I thought I would uh, check them out and found out where they were where they were operating from and they go every Sunday from different places all over the island and the walks for about eight or nine miles so I thought well that'd be fine so on the first Sunday which was Easter Sunday I set off nice and early full of excitement uh, and um, positivity which might have been a bit naive Let's see what happens next it's about nearly six o'clock in the morning I'm at somewhere in Barbados and I'm about to do a hike with hike Barbados and I don't know how many miles but I think about eight so I will see you in a minute and see how I'm looking then because it probably won't be like this with no sweat on my head okay I'm about half an hour in it's a quite a stompy fast walk it's quite hot and it's only about, I don't know, maybe quarter seven in the morning. <laughs> but it is beautiful. Can't talk. Oh my god. A bit hot. nearly two hours in and I might have underestimated this a bit because I am totally bushed. As Mandy would say I'm fully bushed and it's climbing the hill from now on. The heat is about 50 of us on the hike. And the pace is rather fast, like almost running. See you at the top. Oh. Okay, I'm back. Um, it's been a th just over three hours, I think. I'm not even know what the time is actually. Uh, but I've got. Uh, um, this is about nine miles, eight or nine miles, probably nine, and that was horrific. And uh, just after I filmed last, I was going up a hill, and it was no ordinary hill, and I just stopped halfway up. And I thought I thought I was going to throw. And this wonderful lady called Yuna stopped and she gave me some glucose stuff and some coconut water and just made me sit down for a minute. And then I had to go and have a wee behind a banana tree. And it's the best wee I have ever had. And she just got me up to the top of the hill by walking really slowly with me. And oh, I feel like such a wuss. Oh, it's so hot. And the hill was... Anyway, back. I bought myself some coconut water, which... It's love. But um, I am going to go and fall in a swimming pool now. But it was worth it, it was good exercise. And if I hadn't have been training so far, I wouldn't have ever been able to do that in a million years. But it was good fun. And, um, and I'll see you later on. Cheers. So I got back from from the hike 
it hadn't gone quite to plan and my confidence had been knocked somewhat. I was halfway up this hill and I thought if I can't get up a hill in Barbados how on earth am I going to get up a 6,000 metre mountain? I emailed Mandy and said what I'd done and she was very encouraging and said I ought to get on one next week and get my confidence back and uh, you know I'll be fine just to be a bit more prepared with some energy drinks and glucose tablets and stuff so that's what I did decided I would go on the next one and go for it and the next one was in the north of the island and we started off at a place called Harrison Point Lighthouse and um, and we went on on the following Sunday and this is my experience Morning, I'm uh, on doing my next hike, which, um, so it's sort of nearly six o'clock in the morning. I've decided to wear sunglasses this time because I don't want to frighten any children um, who were watching this, so this is a safer bet. Well, last week I found it pretty tough and I made myself look like a right idiot and wussed out a bit, so I've come back this week purely to try and get myself a bit more confidence back and um, see if I can actually pace myself a bit better this time and not suffer from exhaustion again. <clears throat> so I've got me um, uh, energy drinks and stuff and um, feel a, there's some familiar faces now who have been quite friendly already so I think it's alright. I feel a bit nervous because I was pathetic last time but I'll see if we can improve matters today. So I shall um, keep you posted. See you later. Yeah, shopkeeper. You can have a regular reggae sauce, man. And the latest thing, you know. It's proper things. Two and a half hours in. Basically, just really hot and sweaty, and that's it. It's nothing major. My legs are a bit achy, but this has been such a different walk, just a lot flatter. So. Turns out that last walk I did is a bit, it's got a bit of a name to itself. So I don't feel quite so bad about it now. I even heard people talking about it. Some say that it makes you hallucinate. I'm not sure that's the walking. So all's good. I'm quite enjoying this one as well a lot more. Right, I've finished. Um, we did it uh, just over eight miles, I think, in um, three hours again. It was a lovely walk, but I've coped a lot better this time. And I'm just off to meet my mum now. So, very successful. I feel a lot better about things. I'll check out now and see you later. We were just about to pack our suitcases to come home when news came through that Iceland had exploded. With our flights cancelled, we were stranded. There was only one thing for it. Do another hike. <laughs>